Welcome to BSc Statistics students. So in this lesson, I explain game theory. There is some definitions, particularly definition of game and definition of two person zero sum game. So what is meant by a game? The game means a competitive situation where there are two or more competitors having several alternatives, which means uh, uh, several strategies require addition making. For example, advertising and uh, other marketing uh, campaigns between some particular kind of uh, competing various business firms and several candidates contest contesting in a particular election. So, which are examples of the game. And uh, one new man uh, is named as father of game theory. He is, he is, treat, he is known as fa father of game theory. And uh, what is a uh, clear definition of uh, game? A competitive situation is said to be game if it has following properties. If it satisfies uh, these four properties, it is said to be a, a game. First of all, there are finite number of competitors or participants called players. So there must be finite number of competitors, which are called players. Each player has finite number of alternatives. Every player, each and every player uh, should have finite number of alternatives called strategies available to him, which are called strategies. So a, a third one, a play of the game takes place when each of the player employs his strategy. When do you say a particular game was uh, uh, taken place? It is nothing but uh, if a player employs, each of the player employs his strategy, uses his particular strategy, then uh, game, game is going to be taken place, that is took place. And uh, the fourth one, every game results in an outcome. For every game, it, it, it must have a particular outcome. What, what are the outcomes? Gain or loss or a draw, usually called payoff to some other player, so which means uh, some kind of uh, amount is going to be paid to the uh, one player to other player. So who lo losses, uh, then the player is going supposed to uh, pay some particular amount to the other player that is called pay off, right? So this is the definition of uh, game. Now to, if you come to the uh, uh, another definition, uh, two person zero sum games. So uh, here uh, in the last point of the game theory, game definition, we have used one particular uh, terminology, one particular term, it is called payoff. So for example, uh, there are two players A and B. If uh, player B losses the game, lost the, lost the game, then uh, player B is supposed to, for example, uh, mm, uh, let us suppose that player B has to pay 10 rupees to player A. And then uh, player A is getting is gaining uh, 10 rupees uh, and which means uh, it is a loss of uh, uh, 10 rupees to player B that is uh, plus 10 for the player A and minus 10 for player B. Uh, so the same 10 is going to be represented uh, in the in a kind of matrix form I will tell you later on and uh, where exactly uh, player B losses 10 rupees that is 10 and minus 10. If you represent a 10, it is a gain for player A and uh, payoff that is the payoff and it is a loss for player B. So based on that uh, two person zero sum games uh, uh, definition is going to be defined. If the algebraic sum of gains and losses of the players is zero, obviously the gain of uh, player A and uh, loss of the uh, player B, if you add the algebraic sum, sum of gains and losses, uh, which will be equal to obviously 0. Then such games are called uh, zero sum games. What you want to games, uh, which are uh, such games are called zero sum games. The zero sum games with two players uh, are called two person zero sum games. The zero sum games with two players are called two person zero sum games. Zero sum games means the algebraic sum of gains and losses of the, the players is zero, then such games are called zero sum games, right? Now that is uh, if two competitors or players uh, are playing a game with zero sum character, 
then such games are known as two person zero sum games right in the two person zero sum games the gain of one player is exactly equal to the loss of the other player and similarly the loss of the one player is exactly equal to the gain of the other player so this is the uh, definition of two person uh, zero sum games right and uh, one more important uh, some one or two important uh, definitions that is terminology i will tell you the uh, one important terminology if you consider the player the first one player the competitors in the game are usually known as players it is very clear a player may be an individual or a group of individuals or an organization right uh, this is the definition of a player a competitor the competitors usually which are no they are known as uh, players the player may be individual or a group of individuals or an organization right uh, and uh, coming to the next definition it is called a strategy right the strategy what is meant by strategy the strategy for a player is a list of all possible actions that is alternatives available to him in advance the what are the uh, uh, possible actions what are the possible alternatives available to him which are called a, a particular player which are called strategies the strategy for player also expressed as the set of rules available with the player for decision making uh, and uh, um, there are two types of strategies pure strategies mixed strategies we will discuss in the another class thank you thank you so much